Fix cloned SSD not booting error 0 XC 0000000E. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to fix the 0XC00000 eBoot error after cloning your SSD. This usually means the boot configuration data or BCD is either missing or pointing to the wrong drive. What you'll need, a USB drive, at least eight gigabytes, access to a working Windows PC, your cloned SSD installed inside your system. Step one. Create a Windows 10 or 11 installation media. 1. Go to the official Microsoft Media Creation Tool website. 2. Download the tool and run it. 3. Choose Create Installation Media, USB Flash Drive, and follow the prompts. 4. Let it finish writing to your USB drive. Step 2. Boot from the USB drive. 1. Plug the USB into your computer with the cloned SSD installed. 2. Turn on your PC and enter the BIOS or UEFI, usually by pressing Dell, F2, F12, or ESC during startup. 3. Set the USB drive as the first boot device. 4. Save and exit BIOS. Your system should now boot from the USB. Step 3. Repair boot configuration. Once in the Windows setup screen, click Next. Then click Repair your computer at the bottom left corner, navigate to Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options, and finally select Command Prompt. Now type the following commands one by one, bootrec slash fixember, bootrec slash fixboot, bootrec slash scanos, bootrec slash rebuildbce. If you get an access is denied error on, try this, bootsec slash ent60 sauce. Step four, restart and boot from SSD. Close the command prompt. Click continue or manually reboot the system. Go into BIOS again and make sure the cloned SSD is the first boot device. Save and exit. If it still doesn't boot, here's what you can do. If the cloned SSD still throws errors, make sure it's properly set as the primary or active partition. Open command prompt again and use bash disk part list disk. Select disk zero hash. Your SSD, make sure it's the correct one. List partition, select partition one hash. Your system partition, usually about 100 MB, active exit. Then run the boot rec commands again. Final tip. If you cloned with a program like Macrium Reflect or EaseUs, make sure you selected the option to clone all partitions, especially the EFI system partition or system reserve partition. Also, ensure secure boot and BIOS is turned off temporarily if you're getting boot issues.